Don't screw up. That more or less is the message from Willie Colon to his quarterback, Geno Smith, alongside Mark Slareth. I am Jim Basco. I want to read a quote. This is okay. what he had to say to Sirius XM NFL Radio. We bought the Porsche. We gave him the keys. Bottom line, he can't crash it. First off, are the New York Jets a Porsche? It's a great question. Um, <laughs> I don't think of them that way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I know that they've made some upgrades mm -hmm. with Decker. Um, obviously, Brandon Marshall in a trade, oh, right. that's big. Uh, Steven Ridley at the running back position, I think they've got a, a nice stable of running, running backs, backs there. But I think that they're more as a grind it out. Now, defensively, maybe yes, maybe you did. Okay. Um, but I think of them as a control the line of scrimmage football team. So I, I'll give them Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> that's a pretty that? nice It's a nice wheels. ride. Yeah. It's a nice ride. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as fast, but it's still a very nice ride. But he does have a supporting cast around him that looks pretty legit. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's funny because it appears this is a veteran player, Willie Colon, that, and you've been in his shoes before as a veteran player, that pretty much is kind of, hey, you know, it's time now, youngster, to get it done. Right. And then you have the offensive coordinator a week or so ago saying he's the starter, more or less handing him, instead of competing maybe with Fitzpatrick. Mm -hmm. what, what is the message that should be relayed to Geno Smith now going into his third year at the helm at quarterback? Well, you Jets? come in there and you could take some pressure off by saying, hey, let, you're going to be our guy. And, uh, you know, you're the starter going in, the incumbent going in. We get that. Um, but the bottom line, you're on a short leash, right? I yeah. mean, you don't have a whole lot of room to continue to turn the football over. And that's going to be the biggest thing right there. Um, and as a player, when you see accumulation of talent on your football team, a lot of the times, especially if you're a, a, a veteran player that has a young quarterback, you're like, you don't have to do too much, man. Right. Play within the system. Play within yourself. Don't turn the ball over. I used to tell young quarterbacks all the time, listen, man, just keep it out a third down and, and long. Long, right. Keep us out of those situations and we'll be fine. You know, don't turn the ball over. Keep us out of third down and 12, and, and things are going to work out pretty well. Especially with that defense, you would think they're going to have a lot of opportunities to play on the offensive side of the ball with the turnovers they should be able to create, the blitzing schemes they should be able um, to get after the quarterback, the short fields they should be able to generate. So I, I would say that I understand where Willie's coming from in that particular comment. Yeah, you more or less, he, he sees the numbers. 4-12 and 12 last year, 11-18 and 18 as a starter, 34 interceptions over that time frame for Geno Smith. You can read more about this story and keep up with the New York Jets by keeping it locked to the NFL page right here on ESPN.com. For Mark Slareth, I'm Jim Basquiat.